Well, hello. Looks like it's official. I've been kicked out of the AAP Connect, the American Academy of Periodontology, which will soon be changed to the American Academy of Implant and Periodontology, or American Academy of Periodontology and Implantology. Basically, they're going to uh, choose to uh, have two masters, which is very difficult to have when you, you either save teeth or you save it or place implants. I think there's a conflict of interest there, but they've chosen to uh, move in that direction. Um, they kicked me out because of the what's going on here. Uh, if you take a look at what's going on on this page, they've had discussions regarding Lynette. And as you may know or not, um, I'm rather involved in the LINAP community. And uh, so some of the discussions that have gone on, lasers and hygiene, LINAP strength of evidence. This was the one that actually got me kicked out. And it's the Paralase versus Emdogain versus BioOS Collagen. And if you could see, um, all I've done so Danny Melker started this thread, and that's him right there. And he talks about photography and, and such. And, uh, okay, well, the rift comes from is the talk that laser users do about basic periodontal treatment or discomfort or my results are better than yours. All baloney. Well, you... Danny, you need to ask your patients if it's baloney or not. Uh, but they tell us that, yes, your scalpel is not as kind as our lasers. Now, let's take a look at this case. This is the case I posted, and this is basically what got me kicked off. They don't like seeing this before turning into this after right here, where we actually get regeneration. Regeneration of bone, regeneration of the gum ligament, without the use of of these biologic products. And that's critical to understand. These biologic products have a lot of problems with them. All you have to do is open up the literature and you'll find them. Where this is a natural treatment, nothing is added. Their own body gets to do this for them. It gets to take that to that. Now, after this, he came. Uh, Danny came on, started posting root canal uh, stuff and I posted up well this guy comes on and says SRP is just as good as as Lenap so I started posting you can see he they deleted his work after here well he had some not very nice comments to say about Lenap and so all I started doing was posting case after case after case mm -hmm. of Lenap that you could find on YouTube uh, and specifically it was this case in particular all you need to do is uh, go to YouTube and type in Lenap failure. And this case will pop up. The two first videos were the ones I first posted up. Then I posted in another case, and then another case. And I would just get Danny Melker all riled up. Uh, again, I've been kicked out. I don't know if Danny's gotten a letter like I did. This is the actual letter. Dear Dr. McAllister, your, your recent posts have been removed from the AAP Connect open form after receiving complaints. What a bunch of babies. Where, 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 where? Come on. Are you adults? Did I offend you? We're talking periodontology. We're talking tools. That's all I'm using is a laser as a tool, and I'm showing you what I have done. Now, you may not want to use the tool, I don't have a problem with that. If you want to use an Orban Life, great. If you want to use biologic shaping, that's fine. Biologic shaping is a wonderful tool. I've learned a lot from Danny. But don't bash lasers if you haven't done them or used them. So as, as stated by the terms of the AP, it here's the following three strikes policy. So this is my third strike. Uh, upon the first violation, participant will receive a written warning. I don't even remember when I got my first warning. The second violation is a three-month suspension from participation in the community discussion on the AP Connect. I was on back on for less than than 24 hours, and I already got kicked out. And all I did was post cases after cases and and show my side. Hey, 
You don't like lasers, that's fine. But let me show you what we've been able to do. Under the microscope, all you have to do is go on YouTube, look at the cases, look up Lenap, look up my name, you'll see case after case after case of regeneration. And m you could also l listen to the patients who've had it done. I've never had it done. I don't know what it feels like, but I've asked the patients over and over again, how do you feel after having Lynette done? They always tell me oh, about a two on a scale one, one to 10. Now, Danny's upset because I'm telling them, hey, this is what my patients are saying. What are they saying about your scalpel and suture procedures? Well, they don't have the same type of experience. I'm sorry, Danny. That's how it is. You want to have that scalpel uh, cut your gums open? Yes, it's cheaper. Yes, the scalpel only costs a dollar. Yes, the suture is only five dollars. Yes, the laser is a, a, a significant investment. It's the patient's choice what to uh, do in their own mouth, and that's why I'm doing these videos. So take a look at what I've been able to do with uh, uh, Lenap and what the results are, because that's all it's about. It's about the patient. Now, some people on AAP Connect consider that uh, implants are more important than teeth. Well, yes, it's more lucrative to screw a patient with an implant, a uh, duh, but saving people's teeth saves the patient so much more over the long term. All you have to do is look at the literature. It shows that implants cost the patient five times the amount by having an implant than if they had saved their natural tooth. It's five times cheaper to save your teeth. Lenap has FDA clearance to reverse the number one cause of tooth loss. Well, it's clear if, you, if this were your mouth what you would have done. If you were having knee surgery, would you want them opening up the whole knee or doing arthroscopically, minimally invasive? That's the beauty of Lenap. It's minimally invasive, minimal discomfort. Hey, and regeneration without adding biologics? You're kidding me, right? No. Look at the cases. See what's out there. Learn and understand. It's all about learning. And some of you don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. They're afraid of what they're going to say. Well, no. You're professionals. You're doctors. Deal with it. Again, I've sent them my resignation. I'm hoping to use my, my, uh, my dues more constructively because obviously these people can't handle basic conversation about a technique that is directly directly influences their periodontology but obviously periodontology is not what it's about it's about implantology well i also posted videos of le pip about implants losing and failing implants getting infection <laughs> okay so i'm going to get off my soapbox hopefully you look at the evidence Look at what is available. Find out if Lenap is right for your practice or for your patients. Truth will set you free. That's all I can say. Look at this stuff. Look at what Danny's posting about getting hacked up with. <laughs> he hates it when I tell him. But he sharpens pe pe people's teeth like pencils. Not this case. But some other cases he does, he just rips off all the enamel and he does these these surgeries yes he has gifted hands but not every dentist or periodontist has gifted hands like he does uh danny you thank you for posting these beautiful cases we all learn when you post but again as i was writing down that was deleted i'm here to learn from you well and i'm here to teach and learn from others maybe somebody will learn something from my cases posted but not anymore because Goodbye, AAP. Good luck with your implants. Good luck with screwing your patients. I don't want anything more to do with you. Goodbye.